Hi guys, it's Karen. I am making a very quick video to show you a doll that I just got in the mail off of eBay today. Um, this is a 1978, I believe, Kissing Barbie. Um, I was really excited when I saw this doll because I remembered this dress vividly from when I was a kid. So in 1978, I would have been about seven. <laughs> um, and I'm not interested in the Barbie itself. I don't really like the kissing Barbie. I don't like, um, I don't remember the Barbie. I just remember this dress. Um, so, and there's a few that I remember from my childhood that I've wanted to get. So I got, this doll is not in very good shape, but the dress looked like it was in good shape. And, um... I wanted to put her somewhere for you guys, but I'm in the middle of an absolute, there's no room anywhere. So let's see if I can do this over here. Let's slide over. Mess, 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 mess. This part is clean. Um, I'll put her over here by my sewing machine, I guess. There's a little bit of room here. Okay, so I don't know if any of you guys who are she came wrapped in this um, Ziploc, apparently. I don't know if any of you guys who are around my age remember this doll. Um, I guess the shtick is, is you push on her back and her lips move in and out or her head moves so that she can kiss. And most of the time I see these, um, they're broken that I've seen from my short searches on about this doll. Um, and she is a no exception. She looks like she's broken, but again, I was interested in this beautiful dress, not the doll herself. This is what she looks like. She's actually, other than her face paint and a couple, I mean, her hair needs, her hair is a little, like it needs to be flat ironed or whatever, but boil washed or something. She has some marks on her face, her lips, her paint is coming off. I don't, like I said, I'm not really interested in her because of... I think they're funny looking. They've got this extra long neck. And if you look on the back, they have this mechanism. You're supposed to be able to push this in and out. And they're they're actually kind of like um, the guy in Men in Black. Their heads are actually over a little strange plastic nub mechanism and um, just tied on with string. Very strange. Um, so I had bid on two of them. And this one I bid, I got this doll for $4.50, which I was super excited about because again, like I said, I'm interested in this dress and the dress looks like it's in extremely good shape. I don't see the snaps are on perfectly. I don't see any um, tears in the overskirt. I don't really see any stains on it. And I really remember playing with this dress when I was little because I remembered this. I just remember, I, I remember it very tact, tactilely, like putting this on with the two layers and snapping it up in the back. And it's just gorgeous. So I bid on two of them. I bid this one and I got her for, it was only me and somebody else. Then the other doll, I had bid $6.99 to start on another doll. I lost that auction, but that Kissing Barbie was, was in way better shape. And I just, I bid on both of them because I wasn't sure if I was going to win either one. So, um, I'm going to take this dress off and I'm going to try it on a different Barbie to see, um, to see how it looks on a Barbie that's not broken. And I mean, at some point just for a collector's thing, I might want to get a nice version of this doll, but if I never do, that's fine. Cause again, I was just interested in the dress. So... I put it on my Kira doll. It fits this style of body perfectly. And again, it looks like it's in really good shape. There is a strange, it is a little bit funny here how it's gathered right there, but I don't think that's a defect. I mean, I don't think that's like, I think that's just the way it is. I can look at it later and see if anything's unpuffed, but I don't think so. Um, this feels extremely clean. It doesn't feel dirty or greasy, neither did the doll, honestly. So I am super excited to have this dress and
and um, she doesn't want to focus at all. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, I'm super happy about this dress. It's so pretty. And it's sort of like, there's a two more dolls. One I did buy that off of eBay that will be coming that also I remembered from when I was little. Um, in her outfit, it's got a couple stains, but I'm not too bothered about that because I got her really cheap. Uh, we'll see what she looks like though when I get her out. And the other one I'm still trying to get a hold of at a good price, but um, the other one's a little more valuable than these. But I mean, these, like for Barbies, these are really cheap anyway. I just, I. And just broke right now, so I have to buy as cheap as possible. So, um, these are not super valuable Barbies by any stretch. They're not hundred dollar doll, hundred dollar dolls, or hundred dollar dresses that I'm after. Um, but I either have to try to get the I can't, I can't get anything mint in box because that's way too expensive. So I have to kind of get things piecemeal. But like I said, maybe someday I'll try to get a better version of get a second one with of this and try to get a nicer doll but I don't I'm not really interested in that doll she's just meh so I hope you guys like this dress let me know if you remember this or had this dress or have it in your collection and um I'm gonna say goodbye